Hi, welcome back to part four of your visit tutorial. In the previous tutorial, well, previous part, we learned how to define our conflict areas. Now, in this part, we're going to add vehicle routes and define turning ratios. So, this is my map. This is my network that I have drawn so far. And the conflict areas that you drew in the previous video probably clutter up what you see. So to toggle through it and to get rid of it from the map, you can just go to the network objects column, go to the side and click the icon. Clicking the text will go to the actual menu, but clicking the icon will make it go away. So I don't want that. Now we are gonna create the vehicle routes. These are the routes that your simulation vehicles are actually gonna follow. So the vehicle routing tool can be a little bit complicated to use. It's very important to follow the following steps very carefully. So after the conflict areas are gone from the screen, go to your network objects column and click the text that says vehicle routes. Once you have clicked vehicle routes, you will see this drop down menu button. Make sure that it, it is set to static. Now we are going to create the routes that the vehicles are going to follow. First, I'm going to show you how to draw the eastbound Ottawa Street routes. First, you right click somewhere far away from the approach of the intersection and you start your route. And it will start with this pink line. And you will essentially just follow the route until you hit the end of the route. So this is right now the left turn lane. And once you get to somewhere far away from the intersection, you will right click. And now I want to make the through movement. You do the same, follow along the link until you get to some point after the intersection on the through lane. And you now right click. And now, and at the end of the routes, you will have this blue bar. So blue bar there, blue bar there. And now the last movement for the Ottawa Street eastbound lane is going to be the right turn. So right turn, right click. And now you have one route in three directions. In this example, we will have four different routes with three directions in each route. Now that you have finished one route with three directions, you want and you want to make a new one, go to somewhere off the side away from all the different links and just left click and you can start a new route. So I'm gonna do the same with the northbound river street. Right click somewhere far away from the intersection and I'm gonna make my left lane, my left turn Right click, I'm gonna right click my through and right click my right turn and go off to the side and click away. And you just do this for all your different movements. click away. So right click, make a left, make a through, make a right, and left click away from your links. 
now I have four roots with three directions in each root. When you're done making your roots, you need to verify that you have created the roots in the right direction. You can check this by going to this bottom portion below the network editor, and you can actually check and click through the different movements that you have. So make sure that everything goes to the right place. So as you can see, here are the roots that you have defined. We have four roots. Ooh, geez. We have four roots. If you go to the box on the right, you can see the relative flow for each of the directions for each root. So in this example, we're going to edit the relative flow. You can do that by double clicking it. It'll become highlighted and you can change the number. So the relative flow represents the proportion of vehicles that will take that direction. It is relative to the sum of all directions for that route. In this example, we are going to have the relative flow for the left and right turn lanes to be 10%. So we'll set that as 10 and the through direction to be set as 80. This means that uh, that 10% will go left, 10% will go right, and 80% will go straight through the intersections. So let's make sure that we have everything going the right direction. So this one is going to be 10. And as you toggle through and click through each of the different directions, it actually shows on your map. So you can actually make sure if you haven't done it in a iterative method and you just kind of randomly clicked everything, it's still okay. You can still see what you're doing. 10, 80, 10. And you've done it. You have added vehicle roots and defined the turning ratios. In the next part, we're going to add vehicle inputs and the desired speed point.